A stitch in time saves nine, but before 10 p.m. it's the rule of six. It's easy to remember. Six, nine, ten. Six, nine, ten. The United Kingdom. Well done, Mr. Tumble. Uh, Boris Johnson on another speech that is about as clear as a chlamydia test done on a lad after two months in Falaraki. 10 p.m. So for August, eat out to help out. Eat out to help out in August. But in September, eat out to help out. Then at 10 p.m., get out! Get out! There is a new curfew of 10 p.m. Have you actually lived in the United Kingdom, Boris Johnson? We already have a problem. Simply the sound of the closing time bell in a pub ding, 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 is like Usain Bolt hearing the starting trigger in the 100 metre final. Ding, 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 ding. Drink, Gary. Drink. Down it. Down it. Down it. Down it. 9.8 seconds. 9.8 seconds. That's a new European record. And it's not a European record because Europe is evil. It's a British record for British people. Nine pints in nine seconds. Well done. Gary from Romford takes the record from Darren from Gateshead. Darren, how do you feel? Well, I'm gutted, like, I'm dead gutted, because I used to be able to do nine pints in 9.95 seconds, and I thought I could do better than that and that. Doing a curfew at 10 p.m. will not lead to people from the UK thinking this. It's not the 1950s. Well, excuse me, Donna, darling wife. I think instead of drinking until 2 a.m. and banging gear up our hooter in the disabled toilets, perhaps we should have some triangular cut cucumber sandwiches and perhaps just a cup of tea in the lion's tea shop at the train station. There's no need to get intoxicated. Now we're going home at 10 o'clock. Just kidding. Sambuca in the face. Light it. Hit the dance floor at 9 p.m. Ketamine in the face. Lick everyone by the fire exit and home. I caught the COVID by 9 p.m. I win. What a weird speech with outdated catchphrases from the 1950s. A stitch in time saves nine. No one under 80 knows what that means. Who wrote your speech, Boris Johnson? Enid Blyton. And the gang realised it was time to return home for a sardine supper. Ooh, thought Dick. A stitch in time really does save nine. <laughs> Laughed the gang. If you want to know what a stitch in time saves nine actually means, it means... Doing something in advance, getting it done, can save a lot of aggro later on. Gee, someone I know could have done with that advice. You, Boris Johnson, you defrosted lump of pork mince rolled in pubes, Dominic Cummings noshed off in the cupboard. What has he got on you? Pictures of you inside a goat? You, there's too many numbers now. Thickos like me can't concentrate. A stitch in time saves nine, particularly if you're doing the rule of six and the rule of six before 10 p.m. A stitch in time saves nine, but before 10 p.m. it's the rule of six. It's easy to remember. Six, nine, ten, six, nine, ten, the United Kingdom. Six now. Oh my God, my head's explode. I need Ritalin just to watch one of your speeches. Eat out to help out then. Get out. Eat out to help out then. Get out. And last but not least, office workers, back home. Back home you go. Work from home if you can. Even though everyone running businesses has just spent all of their time and money making the places COVID secure. Hang on a second. If all the offices were COVID secure when we were going in, why have we now got to go home? Either they were never COVID secure to start with, or you don't know what you're doing. I wonder which it is. Doesn't matter anyway. As long as we don't catch this virus, it won't matter if we all die from poverty, roasting squirrels at the roadside with acorn jam. And as we go into Christmas, huddled round our burning credit card receipts, we can spend the last few pennies we've got on Christmas presents that were earned by our granny going on the game in November. A stitch in time saves nine, rule of six, 10 p.m. Get out, stay in. Rule Britannia.